What's up everyone? My name is Lisa. Welcome back to my channel, Lulu Lisa to Roll Love Grow. Uh, please hit the little bell to get notifications for my new videos. Like the video, please. And um, yeah, subscribe if you're not subscribed. So anyway, I have been getting uh, a couple of messages the last couple of days and I, I wanted to put it out yesterday, but I like just totally passed out yesterday after work and running errands and everything like that. So anyway, 919. So you may be seeing this number. Uh, this could refer to something happening at on, on September 19th or at 919 in the morning or at night. Uh, this could be just significant to you. This is something that, and I'm hearing the song again, I feel the earth move under my feet okay so i don't know something about earthquakes all right um and then there's confirmation with that um so um anyway and okay sorry 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 so also another message that i was receiving was for this is for light light workers if you consider yourself a light worker a star seed um a healer a twin flame okay uh this is like it's time to get ready like it's time to um yeah it's the call to action step up and out as as the leaders of the the world needs you to be now so um yeah if you resonate with any of those words those were the words given to me to share with all of you and to pass on the message. So um, with that being said, today I also received the 919 and um, September. There's something very significant about September and I'm even hearing like earthquakes. So, and so I'm not sure, I feel like this is, um, I don't know, honestly, what it reminds me, like what one of the, the visions I was shown was if you've been with my channel since I started it, I don't even know how long ago, a very long time ago. Um, I mentioned to you that when I met the person that uh, I awakened to the twin flame journey with, um, it was like an earthquake when I, when I met, when I met him and, uh, like literally. And anyway, it's reminding me of that day. Okay. <laughs> So this is why I'm thinking like possibly you might need somebody or I don't know, maybe it relates to like a possible like real earthquake. I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure. So um, whatever is happening is happening for a higher purpose and the highest good of all. So that being said, I was also told to pull a card. Okay, here it is from this deck and give a brief message and uh, go over, oh yeah, the other thing. So this last week, here we go, new beginnings. Oh wow, this is this is like freaking spirit and God, like, you know, they're always right on time, right? See, this says positive movement forward, all right? It's about taking a leap of faith and getting your shit started, okay? Um, stepping out, you may even be stepping out alone or but you're never alone, right? But this is the beginning of a new journey, all right? A new world. It's a whole new world. Okay, so the other thing that uh, I was um, told to share about was, okay, so this, I've been going through my spiritual awakening. It's just gone deeper and deeper over the last 10 years. And uh, although it began when I first got sober, okay? And that was like, in uh 2001 okay july 10th 2001 so this is my 22nd anniversary 22 okay so um anyway that's also a huge huge number as well okay uh anyway so what i've been guided to share about is you know going through all these transformations you know there's like been this like part of me that has just completely died and 
it just no longer exists. And over the years, it's slowly been dying. And as I've been growing and, and uh, just evolving and understanding myself more and separating myself from habits and people and just behaviors, just all, all kinds of stuff. So I, I mean, I, I literally had to, um, block a whole bunch of people. When I get a vibe, I'm just, I just block people. I don't care. I don't, I don't second guess my intuition, nothing. I just freaking, I like cut off people like just like that. And, you know, and I, that was something that I needed to do, uh, for myself and for my own peace of mind and my own safety and, and, uh, you know, so I've just been progressing forward and continuing to learn and continuing to understand and continuing to, um, forgive myself for my own mistakes. Okay. And, you know, learning to forgive myself and accept myself for who I am. And as I am, it's made it so much easier for me to have compassion for others and my compassion for others has, has gone even deeper as well. And, uh, which is surprising <laughs> because, um, I've just always been very guarded. I mean, I come from a very traumatic background, you know, I've been raped and gang raped and beat up and just, just all kinds of horrible things has, have happened. And I've had to overcome a lot of mental conflict in order to, you know, be the person that can sit here before you, that, that can be the woman that walks confidently with my head and <laughs> head held high. And, you know, I know who I am. And when you know who you are and you love yourself, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks of you. Like it, it literally doesn't. And that is such a beautiful gift of freedom that I have received from learning to mind my own business, to embrace my beautiful flaws and to forgive myself. So, you know, there's, there's a few people that have come up and this, this may be happening for you just coming up in my memory and just kind of reflecting on the way things used to be and the love that I've had for all these different people. And so, you know, and then I was in, in a, uh, conversation with a large group of people and, and the topic came up about, um, when someone crosses your mind, make the phone call. Cause it was like, we was going down the line of like suicide and stuff like that. So, um, and how this one phone call saved somebody from like, attempting suicide. They want, they were about to blow their brains out and they didn't because somebody called and invited them to dinner. Okay. And, um, so that was, I mean, it just like, really, like, I was like, Whoa, you know? And, um, because just a couple of days before that I had gotten this overwhelming urge to, to call someone. And so I did, and they didn't answer, you know, and maybe that's, uh, I don't know. Maybe they've changed their phone number. Maybe they didn't want to talk to me. You know, I, I don't, I don't know. But, um, in that moment that I was moved to call this person, I wanted to call this person because what I'm beginning to understand is like true love, like true love, unconditional love is just being able to, um, have the capacity to love others regardless of what's gone gone down. And, and that, and I'm not saying that, um, when you forgive people that have done horrible things to you or that you just automatically allow them back into your life, it's, it's, it's never forgetting what, what's happened. Possibly you have to lay down, you know, stronger boundaries in order to have a relationship with, with some people in your life. But it's, as far as like completely, um, not being available or just like having like some sense of like a disregard for people, you know, 
because it's not even like when I walked away from people or when I block people, it's not like I block people because I think I'm better than them. It's because honestly, it was, dis it was a disruption to my own peace of mind. And for me, my peace of mind is like my top priority. And if you come in to my life and try to like inflict <laughs> some kind of conflict in my peace of mind, like, I'm sorry, but you gotta go, you know? And so um, I'm not saying unblock everybody or that I'm going to unblock everybody because I'm not, you know, there are some people that I have uh, lovingly just let go of and you know I wish them well I, I really honestly do and you know so I had that experience this this is this is the whole point of this so you may be reminiscing people may be popping up into your mind you know sure reach out if you feel it trust your intuition okay you have to use your discernment you know um i i know that i'm not going to be calling up anybody who like rate me you know what i'm saying you know i'm <laughs> oh you know or people like but it's like you know old boyfriends that have like cheated or you know or possibly friends that maybe have talked shit behind your back or talk shit about you you know or it's like um you know how important is it when in regards to a relationship that has been like however long you know and um is it that important to be right and that, that i always that that's something that somebody has shared with me before it's like do you want to be right or do you want to be happy like do you want to be happy or do you want to be right like wh which one do you want and so you know the way that this is also in relation to this fork in the road okay because this this new beginnings yeah see there's something here in regards to heartache because i feel like there are some people that you may be separated from that it's like really it really brings you sadness it brings them sadness as well and i feel like we've gone through this time or at least for this like through this period of time, I feel like it's going to be lasting a little bit longer, even like throughout the rest of the year, um, because we are, emer you know, emerging into this new way. Okay. And the fork in the road is what are you going to choose? So, and I'm going to give you an example in regards to how it showed up for me. So you know, I, I, I called the one person, that person didn't, didn't answer the phone. I called a couple other people. Uh, one person, you know, was, you know, I, I, I said, you know, I'm sorry that I, I cut, cut, cut you off. You know, we've been friends for freaking 30 years, you know, and, uh, but I needed to do it. I, I just, I just shared my shit. You know, I, I, I own my part. I, and that, that's important, you know, to any kind of true apology is to like own your part and then also take the action, you know, to whatever it is, change the behavior. So there's, there's this, and, um, you know, that was well received, you know, and, uh, you know, that was that, you know, and it's, it's not that we have to go out and have lunch or anything like that. And, you know, um, but it's like a fresh start within that connection and, you know, whatever happens happens you know um but there's no ill will there's no animosity it's just a, a clean slate okay there was another uh phone call that i made and uh you know i i, I started saying the same thing you know i apologize you know we've been friends we have been friends for over 30 years you know i miss your friendship and um blah 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 and then the person was like oh yeah you know um i think about i think about you too but you know i, n I never really knew what i was going to get when i called you because you're you either were like uh oh yeah you know let's talk or you were like oh no i never want to talk to you again and and i was like uh no i wasn't like a complete plate like that you know there was a reason <laughs> behind not talking to you and you know and I proceeded to say that, like, I, I stood up for myself. I, I let the person know, like, no, we're not like playing pretend anymore. You know, this is why I separated myself from you. Like, this is how it is. So, you know, 
where that relationship goes is, isn't really up. I know how I'm showing up for it in the future and how they choose to show up. Well, you know, I kind of got a glimpse of how they're going to show up. You know, it's, it's really up to the other person on how they're going to continue to, to respond, you know, in the same way, if they continue to see me in the same way, then I know that that connection is over. Right. So, but I've, but I've uh, done, done my part. So there's, um, that's how I'm looking at it. And that's how I've been guided. I've been guided to share that with you guys so that you can get a better understanding because everybody has a choice here. Okay. And whether you're on the receiving end of the phone call or you're the one making the phone call, uh, everybody has had a choice on whether or not they're going to choose to respond in their old way and the victim mentality and the uh, survival mode mentality, or are you going to release forgiveness, you know, really step into this unconditional love, you know, and, um, start new, have these new beginnings, like in the card that we got, you know? So, um, yeah, see moving on, it's, it's closing out a cycle to begin a new cycle. See, I, I feel like, yeah, see, the wheel is turning. You see it back there? Victory and success. The horn is being blown. I'm also getting like the judgment vibe with this. And what's behind here? Yeah, solitude. So you may even resort. Okay, they're saying something about Virgo season. And so, Virgo, when does Virgo season? It's like the end of August, right? So um, I'm hearing August 23rd, but I don't know when that starts, but there's something about that date. Um Anyway, all right, so the Wheel of Fortune, okay? And even look at how this person is just like evolving. She's, she's changed. She's, she's gone from feeling invisible to, you know, this balanced person seen and owning her light, you know? Um, one with all embracing all the bits of her because over these i'm getting like decades so 10 20 30 40 yeah you could be um 40 50 60 70 you know 30s any of these like in your teenage years your 20 years your 30 years 40s 50s 60s 70s and so on and then it's like you see it's like down here it's like it's like birth and then whoa sorry birth to your 10. Sorry. I'm, this is backwards. And, um, but you get what I'm saying. You see those two, they're invisible. So it's like, it's like from you return again, it's like your soul. But during this time you're embracing your body and it's like, you're going through these growth spurts and these understandings of yourself evolving to, to rise. Okay. So this, this is, and you see how she's like connected to, um, the light there and it's a 10 it's completion yeah see look memories of love uh yeah so just be yourself if you want to call make the call if it's if the person just what's working for you and do you want to be right or do you want to be happy i hope that i completed my thoughts a lot enough to um it, give you a clear idea of, you know, how you may want to proceed or how you may want to look at different ideas. I am not promoting you to call someone who's been abusive to you or, um, you know, somebody that's just like no good. You know, you may even want to, uh, I mean, you definitely want to trust your intuition, but also like bring it to God, ask God to give you a sign as to whether or not this is somebody that you need to approach or not. Okay. So, and there are some things that you're going to know, like, like how I, I know that there's some, some relationships that, that I'm good, like I'm good, you know? <laughs> and so but I forgive them, but I release them with peace and, you know, I don't wish any ill will on anybody, you know, and it's, it's, this isn't just going to be happening on people that you may have released. It's, it's happening in your environment right now. It's, it's people that you're talking to because like I said, everybody's had some sort of little awakening or people are beginning to, to awaken 
to themselves more, okay? Being that I was told to start this video with the wake up call to light workers and healers and star seeds and twin flames those of you there are those of you watching who are already you know in your mission or maybe you're just you're aware that you are <laughs> one of those things but you haven't actually uh stepped forward yet so it's like it, this is it's your call to action but to, what, what i was going to say was that you do understand uh the importance or you're the one okay sorry 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 i got like totally sidetracked there but it's like being that you are also teachers or healers or whatever it is that you re resonate with some of you um you are meant to you are you're activating those people around you so people are going to be waking up this is why it's important because you need to be there for for your people right as they wake up as th there are people that are you are put where you are to do what you do because there are certain people <laughs> that were meant to hear you okay so um yeah and there we go it's this new beginning again all right so we're starting fresh okay taking steps forward and closing out these cycles and and it's becoming like as above so below okay it's it's uh bringing what's happening up here down in onto earth and uh yeah so there you go guys that's the message uh don't forget to like share subscribe all that stuff i'll see you soon bye